Welcome to Breaking Mass. This is the fifth season, episode seven. And I'm Nadine. I'm Jay. And we're here at the Pine Brasserie. Amazing space. The Pine Learning Spaces are right over there, three minutes from the Inner City Library. Great food, great coffee, great atmosphere. It's amazing. We're so happy to be here. Thank Don't you. Don't forget, every Tuesday night, they have Sound of the Artist. Mm -hmm. well, artists get to perform and just put yourself out there. It's amazing. You can order lots of wine, listen to your friends sing. It's beautiful. So, yeah. If you recently inherited 1 million euros and you have no idea what to spend it on, we might just have the thing for you. Tip off the European Fine Arts Fair. A lot of famous people go to that. Last year, Kanye West went. Apparently. This year, George Clooney allegedly went. And we might just be there next year. You never know. So, Adam and Daria, two of our reporters, went there to check out the event and we're really excited to see what they found. Let's see. Hi. Hi, I'm Daria. And I'm Adam. Today we're at the Mech. And don't worry, there's no exams going on today. It's TAFAF week here in Maastricht. Three, four, three, <laughs> go. Imagine me and you. I do, I think about your day and night It's only right to think about the girl you love And hold her tight, so happy together if I should call you up, invest a dime and, you and what's so special about TAFAF? Uh, it's, um, I think it's a, what you might call a destination fair People take time when they get here Largely because it takes time to get here mm. You see yeah. what I mean? Yeah. So and it's a pretty town, so what they'll do is they'll stay. Mm. Um, and uh, if there's somebody in their family who doesn't really like art, they can go shopping. There's yeah. so much to see, you can't do it in less than a day. The skies will be blue for all of my life. I am arriving from Paris, and I'm very happy to be in that uh, TEFAF exhibition because it's very, very international. Perhaps we can say uh, Tefaf is something as uh, Babel Towers, with uh, full of uh, wonderful paintings and a uh, lot of objects of art. So what do you think about this uh, modern exhibition? Modern part of uh, all TEFA. Um, I think it's quite interesting, it's become bigger compared to other years, but it's become small in a short. <laughs> That's what I want to say, that it was very pity to see too much for, uh, Fontana, um, yeah, all the same names. So can you say that you are disappointed by this exhibition? Well, I cannot say it's disappointed, but a little bit boring, I can say. How have you found it so far? Uh, yeah, it's really, it's really great. Um, I've uh, just finished my study architecture, mm -hmm. and I've been a couple times in Maastricht and all the museums around here. Yeah. But this is really something different. Yeah. It's really everything together. It's, yeah. It's amazing. It's so then, great. for you, what qualifies as art? Because can I draw a dot <laughs> on the wall, and then you could say it's art? If you got a great story behind it, yeah. Probably. So if there's meaning behind it. Yeah. yeah. So are you so. thinking of purchasing something today? <laughs> I don't have the money for it. Yeah. Are you having housing troubles? Do you think you're paying too much rent? Are you tired of your neighbors coming to your place at 3 a.m. telling you to lower the music because you were enjoying the music you love so much and they don't understand that? Jay, are you okay? I'm tired. I'm tired. Have no fear. Breaking Mass is here. All you have to do is send us a message on Facebook or email us and we will help you out with your housing problems with the housing help desk. So yeah, just give us a call and we'll see what we can do. Everything goes. Oh, you're rolling. Okay.
Do you remember that time you saw that person at their library cafeteria and then you went up the stairs to the third floor and you still saw them again? You exchanged eyes for a few minutes, maybe even exchanged a couple of words, but never anything else. I remember. The library crush. It's a thing. Regardless of worldwide events, here in Master, we still have love for the refugees. This became clear in the in-between holding an intercultural music night bringing together both refugees and locals in a night of singing and dancing and fun. This is extremely needed when terrible things like the Brussels attack happen, so we're quite grateful for it. Darkness cannot drive out darkness. Only light can do that. And hate cannot outdrive hate. Only love can do that. Martin Luther King Jr. From the refugee project Maastricht. I'm Aurelia and this is Petra. Hi. And exactly one year ago we found this initiative. It's a joint initiative between the SSI, SSC, SSC and the in-between. And what our main goal was so far to build a bridge between the very isolated AZC, which is the refugee camp, which is an old prison, with a very enthusiastic student community and locals of Maastricht. So we have a sports committee that's doing sport activities. We have a social committee that, for example, organized this intercultural music night tonight. Then we also have language courses in Dutch and English. We offer Arabic courses from side of the refugees. So on all sorts of ways, integration can be achieved. We try to do that. This intercultural night is so important because uh, they are not there in the ACT, in the refugee center where they are among themselves, not integrating, not stepping out. So them coming here and us or the students going there, it's, that is the reason, that is the goal of Refugee Project Maastricht. Also at the center to kind of break the isolation. Also, it's very important for us that students can uh, connect on a level which is not a professional level, because they are not social workers. But still, students can do so much. Generally, if you have any idea, if you'd like to start your own initiative, we're always open to meet you or to just talk to you and build a kind of platform not only for our committees, but also for anyone who wants to create something in the city which is connected to refugees.
you bring people together. That's very beautiful. Sadly, it is also the end of this episode, and we're very upset. However, we'll be here next time, so it's cool. All you have to do is like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you soon. Before we go, there's a special contest this time. If you like, share, and subscribe to this video, you have a chance to be the lucky winner, and I'm saying the luckiest winner ever of Museum Night. Night. One ticket. Who's it going to be? Like, share, and subscribe to find out. See you next time.